Hi, it's Bo from 757 Makerspace. If you're using a Wazer, one of the common issues that we're running into with this is being able to keep the garnet flowing. And one of the easiest ways to check this is through the gravity fed system like you see here. When the machine is running, you'll see the material flowing like it is here. In just a moment, the machine is gonna cycle off and you'll see that it's gonna stop that gravity feed. Essentially, this is a little push button system. And that little push button, you can manually activate. First, take off the rubber boot. You can also leave it on. Optionally, we like to check that to make sure there's nothing in that. And the button is over here on the side. If it's flowing correctly, you'll see it actually spill out. So pressing the button with the boot on, you'll still see that material. Now, if yours is not flowing, that's the first issue that we wanna check. We'll go into the pullout tank. We're gonna remove any of the extra garnet, the material, and you should see at the very bottom, that little silver piece, we'll leave a little bit of material in with this. And what we found the easiest way to clean this out is using a small piece of 3D printed filament the 1.75 works very well for that. Break off a small piece, open up your cabinet, and make sure underneath that you can reach up from there and press the button. The plastic doesn't hurt the other plastic components. That's why we tend not to want to use something metal with that. So pressing that button, I can now push that material right through it. And if you do have a drop of water, which is usually the most common thing, this will drop that piece out. When you're done, just test it to make sure it's flowing perfectly and that you have no other moisture in the garnet itself. Seal everything back up by putting your rubber boot back on in this correct orientation. Put your covers back on, fill your garnet, and your machine is now ready to go.